came at you with clear intent. It was self-defense, pure and simple. I know what it was. Wait for us in the warden's office. We're dealing with a degree of threat that goes beyond acceptable parameters. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Of course I do. You killed your husband, and after seven years, we're finally within reach. But emotion magnifies risk. And I'm responsible for ensuring that when a suspect poses... A suspect? I'm responsible for closing this circle. Because it's about him and me. It always has been. We found the guard in the storage room, stabbed once in the guts. Keys to Jill's cell were missing. We also found this. We're getting a black light. I'll bet it's a love note from Jack. I'll cover that bit. Heard you put Jill down with one shot. It's on the floor or on the guard's body. Jack? Hello. It's George. I'm monitoring the surveillance cameras, and one of them just went down. I can't tell if it's equipment malfunction or if Jack disabled it. It's cell block M. Because where you found it makes a difference. It was in his pocket. Again, I couldn't hear George. Cell block M, as in... All available breaking Is there a way out? No, sir. And I wouldn't want to be him locked up in there. This block is filled with some highly deviant individuals. You don't know Jack. I didn't cut no one this time. Ain't cut no one since Billy Ray. I'm reformed now, Warden. My implements is gone and I'm ready to... Alright, right, shut up in there. He's like smoke, Jack is. Middle finger, right hand. Guard we found had all of his. Initial onset of regular slightly bluish skin tone. I'd say the amputation for no Six hours ago. This facility has a fingerprint security system. So even with a disguise and a stolen ID, it wouldn't have been enough for Jack to get inside. So somewhere in town there's a prison guard who'll never play the clarinet. Or we'll play with his children. Where's that staging area? Another message. What's Jack trying to say? Middle finger, right hand. You figure it out. Hey! Where are you going? Tompkins. We're under lockdown. Nobody leaves without getting an ID verified. Come on.
Paradise is there to see. He has a flair for the theatrical. It really pisses me off. Everything he's done to you, and you've survived it all. I don't know how you do it. And what happened to jail? No one could have foreseen that. Sam, you don't have to carry this all alone. Notice the U and the A. They're both lowercase. That's it's not careless penmanship. He's never careless. Secure, eternally, paradise. All notions of what heaven is supposed to be. To me, it's a Springsteen concert that never ends. Question is, what does it mean to him? What place does he regard as paradise? He's obsessed, right? He's obsessed with the need to control events, people's lives. My life. What's the status of quadrant four? Negative. And the laundry? Negative. Was the last escape from this facility publicized in a major way? Jack could have read about it. Sir, this facility is sealed. He will not escape. Sooner or later, he'll need food and water. That's what we'll get him. Hold it! Left alone? No, sir. It was never left alone at any time? No, sir. And you put her in there? Yes, sir, I did. Take it away. The only time I've seen that work was on an episode of Magnum VI. Yeah, well, Jack must have seen it, too. He made it work. Any luck? You. Well, the messages are vintage Jack. Sam thinks that it happened. Well, never mind. She's already told you. We haven't talked. She left me 20 minutes ago. I assume she came to see you. Oh, God, Billy. All trustees, report to yourself. This is a lockdown. All trustees to yourself. When I pulled that trigger, it was like I wasn't there. Jill is it was like someone. Look up there, son. That's where he is. Jack is the priority. Focus on Jack. It's about him and you. I found this in the laundry room. Founder on corridor 17. Where the hell have you been? Where did you find this? Well, near the gym. At least when Jack was wearing it, we had something to go on. He's gone. He never would have come to this prison if he didn't already have a way out. How did you report in so fast? What are you talking about? We're looking for you. We all have. 
No, you just gave me this. You told me that I... I didn't give that to you. Last time I saw you, Sam, was at the cell block. His tie was red. He was you. He was impersonating a man that I know as well as anyone, and I couldn't see it. And then when, when I saw that man's finger lying on the floor, I mean, I knew that he put it there. I mean, I knew intellectually, but I got no sense of him doing it. I got nothing. It happens. It doesn't happen to me. Because this is about you. You said so yourself. You didn't sense anything. No. I suppose I should give Jack credit for a brilliant performance. Was he really able to capture every nuance of my intensity and natural charm? Well, no one man could capture it all. John Grant. Yeah. We're getting a fax transmission from the prison. You know, Richard and I do sound design at the J Street Theater. They help me link up to every major prosthetic makeup supply company that Jack could have had access to. Tapped into credit card sales records. And since we don't have a name, I'm just cross-referencing for any name duplication, and we'll take it from there. Let's bring up the notes, Jack. Okay. Now, given Jack's prior use of religious themes, I, I hooked into a New Testament database. I mean, it wasn't the book we studied much at Temple Beth Israel, but that bottom line reminded me of Suffer the Children. Right. No, no recognition. The lowercase letters A, U, and S could be some type of code or anagram. If we flip the lines around... Yeah, there are six permutations. None of them yields anything immediately coherent except USA. Well, I think it's safe to assume he hasn't left the country. Okay. Paradise, heaven. Cross-cultural icons, not specific to anyone. Society or religion. There's a generality to the concept. Jack doesn't think in generalities. Well, what if he's doing it now to throw us off? No. The game is everything to him. His victory is in bringing us to a specific place. If it is an anagram, we could probably expect more messages. The biblical connection providing the larger universe, the letters narrowing it down. I could create a file of towns and cities that are referenced in the Bible. You know, Nazareth, Pennsylvania, Jericho, New York, Goshen, Indiana. Do it. Goshen, Utah, Bethlehem, PA, New Canaan, Connecticut. Malone. Yeah. The word down much. at the state prison has three unaccounted for employees. Okay, Two female, one male. Tompkins. RT. These people sure love initials. He's dead. Chris is on the way to let him go. Well, I thought you made a number of salient points. The specificity of Jack's thought processes, the letters in each line of verse. Come on, Bailey. I wasn't building a profile, I was doing a crossword. Want to keep beating yourself up? I'll get you a brick. Procedure is key here, Sam. What if this were any other case? I'm not a trainee, Malone. Profile the victims, assess commonality. Sharon Lesher, a.k.a. Jill. Jack manipulated events in her life just as he did in yours. Killed the doctors who delivered both of you, changed Jill's hair color to match yours. She died in a prison. I've lived in one. She was your surrogate. profile of Jill. It's getting us nowhere. Jack told you why. Jill is meaningless. The surrogate is dead, Sam. Profile the one remaining victim. The prison guard was a convenience. His selection was completely random. There are no more victims. There's no one else who has been a target of Jack's. Except me. The profile we don't have is mine. Coming. Mm. What'd you do, fly? Let's get to it, Percy. The sheriff did the usual rush to judgment, which we can chalk up to the basic lack of training and the nine millimeter entry wound, which reduced the back of his head into a pile of food. 
the excessive coagulation at the point of exit started me thinking that the 9 millimeter was administered post-mortem. Cyanosis of the lips, slightly enlarged Adam's apple indicated asphyxiation. Broken teeth, 9 millimeter didn't do that. Abrasions to the rear of the mouth and the upper tracheal region. Wood fragment. Jack had to have used some kind of device. Could have been a broom handle to shove the obstacle down his throat. No one should die like that. Adding the C to the list of lowercase letters, the number of permutations multiplies by 200%. I've run them all, but still, you know, nothing decipherable. Thanks, George. And here's the list of places with biblical counterparts. 83 with populations greater than 750. Great. Why don't you call it a day? I could hang if you need me. Or I could hit the driving range. <laughs> Crunch types. All the profiles you previewed. This is the one that matters most. Why did Jack pick you? Don't you think I've stayed awake hundreds of nights trying to answer that question? I'll answer it now. I have a gift of intuition. I am no more responsible for that than I am for the color of my eyes. Did he choose me because he thought that I could help him answer fundamental questions about himself? I thought I had nothing to do with it. This is obsession. And the fundamental question is, why you? His essential loneliness, transference, he is incapable. His profile is not at issue. The spotlight's on you. What is it about you? He wants you to follow him. I know. He's laying out a path for you. I know. Well, we couldn't get more cooperation. Now, you can try and deflect the issue or pretend it doesn't exist. What are you saying, Bailey? What, that I don't want to find him? I'm saying that going deep inside yourself is the toughest journey any of us can take. And I'm afraid of what's there, huh? You tell me. I'm going home. You think it's dumb, don't you? It sounds like I know Leonardo. I mean, not really. I, I don't think it's dumb at all, sweetie. I mean, when, when I was your age, I had a crush on... Uh... No one, I'm sure. Why do you say that, Chloe? I guess the first person I really ever had a crush on was your dad. Turned out not to be a crush at all. Thrill thing, huh? Mm. He is so all that. I, I wouldn't worry about it. And my age infatuations pass pretty quickly. Then again, they can last a lifetime. Mm. Melvin Washburn, seventh grade choir with hair out the here and a voice like a hinge. The real skinny guy? Yeah, you have six feet tall, 80 pounds sideways, he disappeared. <laughs> you had a thing for him. He was so funny. Mm, well, I'm doing. Why don't men understand how crucial that is? Because they're not very bright. <sighs> There hasn't been a week that's gone by in all these years that I haven't thought of him. I wonder if he gained weight. <laughs> Don't stay up. <laughs> My mom.
He was here, Bailey. Jack was in my house. Take her to my office. The house is guarded, there are bars on the windows, and he still got in. That is the one place we were supposed to feel safe and secure. I'll stay with her. Mm -hmm. You want some coffee? If I had found him there tonight, I would have killed him in cold blood. He's made me capable of that. And its mouth was open as if it was crying or screaming, but I couldn't hear it. When did you get that insight? In the cell block. I didn't want to tell you. I was, I was afraid to tell you. You're not afraid anymore. Doesn't matter. Jack wants me to find him. I'm going to. Were you the child? I don't know. Was it Jill? Really, I'm not really even sure that it was a little girl. I don't know. Or could it have been Jack? Maybe he was reliving some terrifying moment from his past, and that was your intuition. We had some premonition of a oh, child. Come on, baby, please. I don't have premonitions. I'm not psychic. You were a profiler. You know that. There's something. I mean, the nature of what I see has changed. It's more oblique now. I mean, there has to be a reason for that, right? Jack's changed. He's abated us for years, and now he's trying to lead you to him. Why would he do that, Sam? He's different, but you're the same. I'm not the same. I'll never be the same again. I've taken a life. He let Jill out of that cell. He did everything that he could to put us together at the moment when I had that gun in my hand. He orchestrated her death so that he could make me his equal. And now he's ready to receive me. Keep going. The theme seems the same whatever way the verses are arranged. We'll stay with this until we've covered every permutation. Sunday school. It was a song that we sang in Sunday school. I must have been about six. You wouldn't find it in your database, George, because it wasn't published. My teacher wrote it. In the lowercase letters, L-U-C-A-S. You know anyone named Lucas? No. Could be a first name or a last name. No, no. Sunday school. Where was it, Sam? What was the school? Park Springs Baptist Church. Maryland, the town I grew up in. Of course, how could I forget? Donald Lucas. Oh, my, he was crazy about you. You must remember him, Samantha, in the light of what happened. What happened, Mrs. McMillan? It was the day you were baptized. Your aunt kept trying to calm you down. 
Well, you always were headstrong, Samantha, even as a child. But when it was over, little Donnie Lucas put his arm around you and he said, it was so precious, I never could forget it. He said, Jesus and I will take care of you now. Ah! I've completely lost that day. When was the last time you saw Donald Lucas? At least 20 years ago. Did they take class photographs? There you are. There's Donnie Lucas. I thought that all of this started because of the murders he committed. He's been watching me my whole life. How long will it take? You got half that. Make it happen. We'll have a computer-age photo of Lucas in a couple of hours. George will transmit to the Park Springs station. Meanwhile, we're checking motels, rooming houses that cater to transients. No, he's not transient. We were married the day that I was baptized. He'll have created a place where that marriage can thrive. That's why he cut Tom's face from the picture. Tom took away the relationship that he should have had. Does he really think the two of you will live happily ever after? Really, Tom and I had Chloe. In order for Lucas to believe that his relationship with me is complete... Relationship? It's never been a relationship. It's a complete delusion. Which he would realize in his lucid moments, so... he would need proof that our union had been consummated. Living proof. You are my love. You know you're my love. Well, my second love. Don't fuss now. Don't fuss. Everything's going to be fine. Daddy's here and mommy's on her way. Yes, she is. I've sent for her. Oh, yes. She's going to be here very soon. A girl, probably no more than six months old. Definitely blonde, blue eyes. I'm showing no uncleared kidnappings, but this is only Tri-County. Run it through NCIC and the National Center for Missing Children. Meet Donald Lucas. Chief will need to set up a sweep for the suspect. At your disposal, we'll circulate copies at supermarkets, movie theaters, hotels. You'll get nothing. As Jack, he's a dominating personality. As Donald Lucas, he's unmemorable. That's the basis of his whole profile. Well, he had to have appeared somewhere. Bars or restaurants, fellas mm. gotta eat. He's a solitary creature. Habitual. Probably has the same thing for weeks on end. Did I miss the fun part? I'm waiting! 
But with each hour that goes by, he's likely to become more agitated, his behavior more unpredictable. If there is a baby involved, then... We don't know that. You point me in his direction, Dr. Waters. I'll go pick him up. The only link we have is church, and we know he's not living there. But it would be someplace that, at least in his mind, has significance for both of us. You're home. You could have known where you lived. It's a gas station now. He's been stalking you for years. No reason to think he didn't stalk you then. Anywhere you've been could have fueled a fantasy. Rachel's house. Who's that? Ah, uh, my aunt. After my mother died, she took over fire and brimstone. Every Sunday after school, I would go by her house for another dose of salvation. What does it say? What's your aunt's address? Um, 401 Beach Street. Does she still live there? No, it's the place that matters. You okay? Uh, do you have a ladies' room? Yeah, left down the hall. What do you expect? Your potassium's probably depleted. Potassium's one of nature's building blocks. You... I'll just be a minute. 401 Beach Street. You park all your vehicles out of sight of the house. He sees us coming, he's liable to bolt. Kidnapping. Five-month-old just outside Manassas. Three weeks ago. Possible kidnap victim at the location. A five-month-old child. Suspect is described by three witnesses as white, approximately 5'10", female. So that rules out Lucas. Not necessarily. John. Sam. She's gone. She took the car, went by herself. Get us there. All communication will be on tech. be rejected by the bench. Don't move up there! Don't you move! What? Put your hands on your head! Is there anyone else in the house? Why? Move in! Here you go! Go, 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 go! Samantha, welcome home. Don't you love what I've done with it? Don't you love what I've done with it? Don't you love what I've yes. done? Yes. Yes. What 
Would you like something? I have a French mineral water, English toffees, German beer, orange drink. No, no, thank you. No. Business has been going well. I made an absolute killing on the market, but you always underestimated my acumen, didn't you? Now, don't deny it. I know you did. Want to know how I got into your house? Let's not bore each other with the pedestrian. That's one of the most wonderful things that we share. A low threshold for boredom. Which is why I never understood why you wasted all those years with that Tom. Now, <laughs> admit, that was a complete waste of time. Come on. Tell me it was nothing. There was nothing between you that couldn't have been. Tell me and we'll never discuss it again. I'm a big enough man to do that. We'll never discuss anything. There is nothing between us. Nothing between us? Then why don't you give my case to someone else? Why'd you allow so many others to be killed? Why'd you force your child to live in a concrete cocoon? And why did you never stop thinking about me? Where's the baby? The sacrifice of Isaac. A testament to faith and... The sacrifice was never carried out, Donald. The child was spared. 288. There are 288 candles in this room, one for every month since I told you I'd take care of you. That Jesus and I would take care of you. We fulfilled our promises, he and I, but you made us wait. Why'd you do that? You caused an awful lot of grief. You know, there were times, Sam, that I almost gave up hope of ever having you. A weak person would have. But the true test of love is found in suffering. And I am true, Samantha. True love. The baby. No! Damn it! I'm having a moment here. You have any idea how long it takes to light 288 candles? I want you to show me our baby. Our baby. My dear sweet Sam, you've given me the gift of life. I've given you the gift of death. We've made each other immortal. And this is your coronation. Your fire and air, elemental eternal. At last, our universe has been reduced to its proper size and nothing will ever intrude upon us ever again. In our world, you'll forever be safe, secure, eternally. Paradise is here to see now that you have come to me. <sighs> Samantha, I have waited so long for this moment. So have I. Checked real estate ratings. The area where you lived is residential only. No gas stations. Yeah. I don't even let me comment. I don't know all this. I just. I had to do this alone, baby. Really. 